Well, I can't emphasize this strongly enough. Actually, Spooky 2 could possibly save the planet. It's that strong, but I do not know this for a fact, but I am also thinking along the lines of that experiment I did with the fleas on a cat, and I put the actual fleas inside the remote Mobius coil, and it was sent, the frequency was sent to the fleas on the cat, only the fleas themselves, from the flea sample, dead flea samples, on the coil at 2750, and I was having, I couldn't get rid of these fleas for months on a one new cat, well, when I got him when he was new last year, and inside of, the, by the third day, it, they were completely gone, and they never came back. But, uh, you know, we are actually using um, a fingernail clipping and our own DNA to transmit the frequencies to our bodies. But what, do you, what happens again? I want to repeat this video. It's the same video, basically, but there's other potential, and I also want to put out other, other angles on this deal. I already know what's going to sell this deal big, big time. Not that I'm selling it, but if it works, it's going to, it, the one potential it has that I know everybody would buy it in a million years, and nobody's actually making much money on this deal. I think they're practically selling it for cost. These generators, of, this is the 20 megahertz, but these generators are 114.95 plus shipping of 5 megahertz, and they're highly, highly accurate. This will do everything a zapper does. It does runs any frequency. I mean, you can run it standalone in contact mode. You can run it standalone even using a remote. The remote costs, I don't know, 40 bucks plus shipping, 35, 38 dollars, whatever it is. It's not much money. And if it don't work, no big deal. But I want to point out, it is a big deal if, you know, I, I can't say this for a fact fact, but I'm thinking is if you actually had, say, the viral problem or whatever it was, say, for instance, you had this bad infection on your hand, it was all pussy or whatever, you took the actual and you were able to diagnose what it was with a doctor and say, hey, doctor, what is it? What microbe is that? And you got the actual frequencies and you ran them. You can run them on the program or you can run them standalone. It's better to run them on a program now, but um, here I'm running Mercury Toxicity, Mercury Detox. But um, what you can do, though, is if you take the actual microbe or the actual pathogen, say it's some, uh, you know, infection, you know, pussy material that's coming out of your hand or something, and you put that in there and, you, and the doctor tells you exactly what it is. Try the frequencies. Now, the potential, though, is this. It's not going to your body. It's going to the microbe. And it's actually going to that microbe all across the planet in that particular mutation. You know, in other words, if you be Ebola, it's not going to wipe out all the Ebola on a planet. But it would, if it worked on the Ebola on this individual, would works, it would work on other individuals, too. You wouldn't be treating just one person if it works. I think it will, because it's like if you have the right frequencies, that is. That is if you have the right frequencies. But what I'm saying now is that the potential of this, the cost efficiency, is beyond belief. Um, because if you're actually treating the actual cancer virus, the actual uh, pathogen, or whatever, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to totally destroy um, it everywhere it exists in that particular family of pathogens in that particular mutation if it works but you see the potential is because this remote has no distance um, barriers it goes anywhere it's quantum entanglement it sounds almost crazy I mean Einstein called it spooky out of distance for a reason because it's freaky but you know some of the experiments are working the problem is do we have the right frequencies that's the real problem. But this methodology of actually taking the pathogen is important. Now, I'm going to actually show you so many uh, crude, well, it's not crude equipment. It's not bad equipment I have. Because I did not trust even, you know, I don't work for the manufacturer. I don't have nothing to do with it. I'm not on the spooky team or nothing, okay? The uh, this team or nothing. I did not trust everything. You know, not that I think that I had reason to suspect them. But, you know, it's like I'm from Missouri, show me. So I actually got um, instruments to check this, and I'll show you what I got. 
Now, I showed this on other videos. This is a, a liter LDC A22 frequency counter. It's all calibrated. Now, this is an old analog uh, Hitachi, but it still tells me accurately what type of waves are coming out of that machine, that generator. Um, it actually put out vi videos where you can actually, it'll tell you what the square wave arbitrary wave is if you just want to run it standalone. But that generator is very, very accurate. I, I, I was like, I don't, I don't understand how the heck they can make it so cheap and be that accurate. But it is. I checked it with this. This is a made in USA liter uh, LDC A22. It is far enough accurate that if you have the right frequencies and the theory works, the accuracy is there. 90% of the time, at least, things don't work. It's because people have the wrong frequencies, too. That's another problem. And if you think you got the right frequencies and your machine does not do the right frequencies, well, you lost. But that that $114.95 plus shipping generator is accurate. I verify that. I am not working for these guys or nothing. I'm just telling you, I'm doing my own research, and I don't play around when I do research. I say, let me get the stuff. This this was calibrated. That was calibrated. They're pretty good stuff. They're used, uh, but they work fine, and it verified everything, and I checked all three generators. They work fine. Now, let me get on to the other issue, because the other issue is not just about Ebola. Let me talk about Bill Clinton. <laughs> Bill, play, Playboy Bill, Bill, the guy, the, the major player that's probably been around with, I don't know how many women in his lifetime, and uh, I'm going to tell you right now, if this guy never got STDs or anything like that, uh, I think I cures, like for crazy, for everything there is in the world. That's my own personal opinion. I'm kind of thinking outside the box here, not trying to knock your bill or nothing like that. More power to you, man. But what I'm telling you is, like, if this guy, from my writings and uh, in a conspiracy 101 hearsay logs, let's let me put it that way, because I don't want to, I don't, I'm not trying to make this guy pissed off at me or nothing like that, because I really don't give a damn what he does. But I heard he never liked to use condoms, and he played around with loads and loads of women over the years, and this, that's what I heard. If this guy, if this guy didn't have no problems, I'm gonna guarantee you right now they got secret cures out there for every damn thing in the world. But I'm gonna tell you this, if you actually put the uh, super gonorrhea, super syphilis, or HIV virus in there itself. What would happen to all those viruses all across the planet in that specific genome? You know what I'm saying? It would actually knock it out if the frequency is correct. So what the potential is, and this is where people think, this is where people buy stuff. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not selling it. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm not selling it. But if this is correct where you can actually take the actual pathogen and put it in there and you have the correct frequencies for like all these new there's all kinds of, I'm gonna put a video out real soon about all these super STDs that are coming out that are, are that don't not, and no drugs work against not just uh, HIV or Hep C those are actually minor diseases compared like compared to what's going on they got super syphilis, super gonorrhea, chlamydia and everything else well they probably got all kinds of special cures, and I'm thinking they got it with frequencies. It might be the electronic method, and maybe the oxygen O2, O3, um, o ozone method, too. But, you know, I always think about, you know, to me, in my mind, the best proof that there's secret cures out there for every STD in the world is two words. Bill Clinton. <laughs> and not that I'm trying to knock you, Bill, because I think you're a right guy, man, in some ways. It's just that uh, we got to get you away from them elite bastards, because... Uh, when he, and he's one on, he actually, I'll tell you the truth, when the Secret Service uh, was around, this guy on a one to one, one, one basis, this guy, he, he plays the stuff for his own political power. I don't like that garbage, but on a one to one basis, this guy's a good guy. It's just that we got to get him away from the elite, you know, and uh, keep the wife out of the office. But anyway, the thing is, I'm going to tell you right now, you know, there's loads of stuff out there going on. Uh, this is like, you know, there, you know, you know, the problem is, if you actually find a solution for this, it's that they're probably, the people's behavior will change to a new sexual revolution again, and what would happen is, there might be something that would come out that this doesn't work on, or you'd have to find new research for new frequencies, and it may spread like wildfire, or maybe something else will come about. I don't know. That's the thing. But I do know this. If... They actually found a cure for every single STD out there because it looks like, you know, a lot of people are thinking, well, the only thing out there is bad as hep C and HIV. So they're thinking, oh, I ain't worried about 
uh, gonorrhea and syphilis. So now they got super gonorrhea and super syphilis, but they're not working against the drugs. But I think they, I think the frequencies would knock them out. But I'm thinking is what where this would sell like crazy, and why everybody would have one in their home would be if it started to be proved that it worked against STDs. And if you put the actual specimen for the STD in a remote, it sh- if it works on the STD directly, it should work on all the related family of that particular strain of STD across the planet. And tell me, if there's one damn thing that motivates people like crazy to get into something uh, is sexual uh, pleasure or sex or whatever. You know, that's why people want a slim waistline. That's why people want to look young. That's why why people want to be vibrant. It all revolves around sex. I'll guarantee you that that is a fact of life. That is even why VHS took out Sony Beta. Beta was a better format in the early thing. VHS said, we're going to do porn. What the hell do you think is going on in the internet? The internet itself, a lot of it is porn. It's driven by porn. The whole thing is mankind is a sexual animal. And if this, to tell you the truth, uh, if there was any kind of solid, solid, solid anti, uh, scientific evidence, and it probably would not be too difficult to prove, if you could say this strain of syphilis or gonorrhea that is resistant to all drugs and they can't do nothing about it, you put it in a remote and you show like what goes on in the Petri dish, and, you know, say this is the Petri dish someplace, and you say, hey, it's in a remote, it killed the stuff in the Petri dish, it kills it in the body, it kills it in the body, that STD in the body of any anywhere in the world of that mutation. You know what's going to happen to the cells of this thing? Millions. Millions. Like I said, I'm not a marketer, I'm not, a, I'm not even connected to them financially, but, um, you know... I know what's on people's minds, and uh, you know it's not just these people. It's it's the married people. It's that's the reality of it. It's all over the place. So uh, you know, mankind or you know, man and woman, mankind, you know, is a sexual animal. And uh, if anything sparks their interest, anything is to be STD free. And I assume they already have this technology. And it's been working on former presidents like uh, Bill Clinton because uh, you know, in my personal opinion, from what I've you know, from whatever whatever I read about Bill. Uh, man, he should have been dead a long time ago, man. And he's not. He's thriving and living and fine. He's still uh, he's still alive and kicking and having doing his thing. You know what I mean? So anyway, uh, this may be somewhat of a controversial vi- video, but we're going to have to get some scientific proof. And I don't think it's going to be that difficult. Take a, sip, a sample of super gonorrhea, super syphilis, or whatever the hell it is. You have it in there. You have it in your Petri dish. Run it. Eh, kills it. Hey, try it out on the body. Then if it works on one person... Since this is quantum entanglement, there's no no distance limitation. That particular strain of super syphilis or whatever, the exact mutation of it, is going to be destroyed across the entire planet. And, of course, um, I think they already got this technology. You know what I mean? I think the guys like this, you know, Mr. Committee of 300, I think he's got it. You know what I mean? Anyway, this is uh, Sin 7. <laughs> Hey, you know, don't even think about, you know, the Bible and stuff. I mean, like, the Bible, what? God's punishment. God punishes people that don't think outside the box, too. That's another thing. But I also want to state this. Say, for instance, all this theory works that I'm putting out, and we say we knock all this stuff down. If you keep pushing the envelope, um, there's something else is probably going to come up again. You're going to have to figure it out, and uh, it's not going to be so simple, you know. The problem is... Um, people will figure out a way to screw things up no matter what they do. And I'll guarantee you, say for instance this is what I'm telling you right now, you're gonna have another you're gonna have a disinformation agent come out and say, it doesn't work, I got the best thing. And you know the good thing is I I could a good example of that is what Holda Clark's work did originally and what Bob Beck said after her that she was garbage, this and that and all this kind of crap and that guy was a disinformation agent. So, anyway, just want to put that on the end here because uh, this looks like it is uh, potential beyond potential because you're not treating just one person. You can actually possibly, possibly treat a disease across the planet. Is that amazing? Possibly. Possibly. I don't want to say, but you know what? It ain't going to be too hard to prove this deal at all. 
and it's not going to be too hard to prove this. We will find out. And you know the old Roman saying, the truth is mighty and it shall prevail. That's an old Roman saying, man. It's the truth is mighty and it shall prevail. So uh, uh, keep on uh, good work in there and uh, good health to you ladies. Anyway, bye.